Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. So now that we have a relatively well done mask, we're ready to actually apply the mask and we're also going to start taking away from it. So with the path selection tool selected, make sure your path is highlighted like this. If for any reason it's not, just simply move the cursor over it and you'll get your path back. At the bottom of the layers panel, hold down the control or command key and click on the add layer mask. It'll actually say add vector mask so long as you hold the command or control key. So everything around it is now disappeared and what we want to do is get rid of the little gaps that are still left. So if for any reason it shows up differently like this, you want to make sure at the top options panel that the add to shape area button is clicked. That way you'll only mask out exactly what you need. Now that you're set, go back to the pen tool and start shaping around your open areas. Simply click, 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 and click. And there you go, it's pretty easy. If you want to do it again, you always have to make sure your path is selected and then use your pen tool to go back into an area. And it's not quite perfect. So, hold down Command or Control, move the path over, and there you go. It's pretty simple, but it's really essential for masking out gaps in your image that you couldn't normally get to. You can also add these areas to your path before you create your mask, but it's all the same. So in the next video, we're going to start masking out hair, which is a little bit more complicated, but there are a few techniques to make it easier.